Okay. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you. <laughs> we can make this very specific to you. Um, you know, so please ask questions because I know these guys. Um, you know, to keep it interesting. Otherwise, it's going to be a long uh, hour and a half. But you know, the goal really is, is to talk about uh, the ad roll real-time bidding remarketing platform and when to choose that over using just traditional remarketing from Google AdWords. That was really the question that I had um, when I was working with my clients is, you know, I, I've heard of this tool, I've played around with it a little bit, what makes it different, how are the results different, and, and so we're just going to kind of go through, it's not necessarily going to be a side-by-side -side comparison, but we're going to go through and just um, look at how you set up these campaigns, talk about the differences between the ad roll platform and just using Google AdWords and then go through some of the other features that they have because they're, they're, they're nice. Ad roll, the one thing they do a really good job of is making things very, very easy to implement and to see those stats right away. And so, um, you know, really the, the main takeaways, it, you know, there are some pitfalls. It's a relatively new platform. Um, you know, the interface is, is probably more intuitive than Google AdWords. But there are a lot of features and functions that aren't present, and you actually just have to call AdRoll and say, "Can you exclude this? Can you do this?" A lot of the a lot, there's a lot of functionality behind the platform, but you don't have access to it. Like you just have to call them and, and talk to them, and, and they can usually make some things work. And so there, there are definitely some pitfalls with with AdRoll that I want you to be aware of. Um, so as you're creating some of these campaigns, if you want to use this platform, you know you won't make the same mistakes that I made. And then really just trying to figure out, and if I can help you understand really when it's the best time to use this over traditional Google remarketing, you know, so you know when to apply it. Because I don't, I don't think there's a singular tool that's appropriate for every one of my clients, right? Sometimes this works great, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and, and we're going to go over results. Like I know we're very big on case studies here. We want to see the actual numbers and the results. And so the, the results that we have here is for a relatively small campaign. It's a website that does about a million dollars in revenue a year, selling uh, greeting cards and stationery and, and things like that. And that's me. I'm Ted Kozlowski. I live in Minnesota. Um, I've known Jeff Sauer for many years now. He's one of my instructors at our, our school that we run in, in the Twin Cities. And I've been using AdWords since it was in beta in 1999, so about 17 years I've been in this space, uh, predominantly focused on B2B lead gen. Um, and now recently, over the last couple of years, I'm doing a lot more consumer goods, you know, um, lawnmowers, snowblowers, uh, auto, a lot of automotive stuff. Um, and then right now, wedding invitations is what we're going to talk about today. And so one, one of the big things, I think, with, with AdRoll that makes it different from, from Google AdWords to a degree. Now, you can... You can work with Google um, and their team, and you can accomplish a lot of this stuff. But the ability to, you know, instead of like we're we're used to bidding on demographic stuff in Google AdWords, right? You can pick age, you can pick gender, you can pick location. You, there are some likes and there's some interests that you can you can target um, within Google AdWords. But Google doesn't make it exactly easy to upload a lot of your own customer information. And when you do, it's usually just in a flat file. And they, they struggle with, um, and Jeff, chime in if you've got a different experience, they struggle with aligning the data that I'm uploading. Like Google will allow you to upload an email list, right? And then it'll tell you how many they actually match, right? And so I've uploaded like a list of 10,000 emails that I want to create a remarketing audience based on. And I think they match like 800 of 10,000. Like it was a really, really small number, you know, because the email list I had were all their business accounts. And most people log into Gmail using their personal account, right? They don't have my TED at demand quest email necessarily. Um, so it's, it's a little challenging to get CRM data, email data, social data into Google AdWords so you can use it to create those targeted audiences. Um, with, with AdRoll, it's very, very easy. It just integrates right directly with Facebook's API. It integrates directly with um, your CRM, whether it's Salesforce or MailChimp or whatever email platform you're using. And you can immediately cookie all of those people. You're, like Essentially, when you connect AdRoll to your uh, email application or platform like MailChimp, it immediately